Happy Thanksgiving, Lisa. Hey, happy Thanksgiving. I'm super excited about this. I don't know about you, but uh, I had some really cool Thanksgiving traditions as a family. Yes. Uh, so mm -hmm. we would always travel to my grandmother's house uh, and we'd have turkey. She'd be getting up at four o'clock in the morning, you know, making a turkey and we'd be prepping stuff all day long and it culminated in the main meal at the very end of the day. You'd stuff yourself, I'd go take a nap. <laughs> and then about 9, 30, 10 o'clock at night, we would start coming back out and start mm -hmm. pulling stuff out of the refrigerator and had leftovers. You Sounds have like a similar my situation. grandma's house, same deal. Absolutely, yep. I, think, I think a lot of people relate to that kind of experience where uh, you, you end up having a fourth meal on Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. I mean, maybe you wake up the next day and you you know make yourself a Thanksgiving leftover sandwich. Oh yes. So mm -hmm. you take those extra buns or the rolls or whatever. But around the end of day two, day three, I don't know about you, but I'm not sick of the ingredients. I'm just sick of making the same old same sandwich. old sandwiches, right? So, or the same old casserole. Absolutely, yeah. uh -huh. whatever you can throw in there. Like there's always good uses for it. Mm -hmm. I want to kind of come up with a new use that I think is going to be really fun. Well, you've got one here. We're going to make some leftover Thanksgiving food turkey uh, pizzas on the Hasty Bake, of course, because that's how we like to cook. Uh, it's got all the ingredients that we would normally just have lying around in a refrigerator. So we got some leftover gravy. Mm -hmm. I don't know about you, but my family wasn't too rich. So we always had that nice little cranberry sauce in the in the can form mm. that you kind of plop out. Mm -hmm. You can throw that on here, absolutely. Would you cook that or would you just put it on it at the end? That's a great question. I think you could probably just top it with it uh -huh. at the very end after everything's all cooked if you wanted to. cool topping. Absolutely. Okay. We got our, our mashed potatoes. Mm -hmm. We got some mozzarella cheese that we fresh grated. I always talk about fresh grating your own mozzarella or any kind of cheese. It doesn't have all the starch that they add to it to preserve it. it ends up melting a lot better. It's just a lot better quality. So we went ahead and grated about a pound of mozzarella cheese. And of course, the star of the show is always the turkey, right? So we got That's the slices right. of leftover turkey. We're gonna top this thing. It's, I think it's gonna be really good. And if, if it's not really good, it's still gonna be really fun to make. <laughs> so let's get started. Uh, we always have leftover turkey and slices like this. So. I'm gonna kind of dice this as though it's, you know, maybe pieces of ham that, you know, you may put on or Canadian bacon that you would normally put on a pizza. Mm -hmm. I don't know how much we're gonna need, Let's so we just slice it. it all up and yep. see where it goes from there. <laughs> what about stuffing or dressing? Depends on where you come from. Yeah, that's a very good question. How would that be on top? I think it would be absolutely wonderful. Now, again, we were like the stovetop people. We didn't make the fancy Me stuffing. too, we were stovetop. Yep. So I can't complain. Uh, stuffing's still wonderful. You could absolutely top with it. I think it'd kind of be similar to the mashed potato. So you just kind of choose how much you put on accordingly. But we're just gonna get the rest of this turkey diced up. Okay. And then we'll start assembling our Thanksgiving leftover pizza. All right, how we're gonna, gonna start. Really Obviously good. every pizza's gotta have some kind of a sauce, right? Whether it's right. tomato sauce or Alfredo sauce, or even if it's just oil, we're gonna go ahead and use our gravy. So if you wanna start, or go ahead, be my guest. Start okay. smearing that on there for us. All right. We're gonna smear that around. I know that doesn't look very appetizing, but leftover gravy out of the refrigerator never looks appetizing. Want me to but, leave a little edge there? Yeah, an absolutely, inch or... just a little touch of an edge so we get that crust that'll pop up. Okay. And when I use these, uh, I don't wanna say fresh pizza doughs, but you use the pop can pizza dough or wherever you get your pizza dough. I put it on a pizza screen when I'm going on the grill, and the reason being is because it makes it real easy to move. The pizza screen still underneath, lets a lot of that smoke from the wood fire come through. It crisps it up real good. So I oil the screen up, I put the dough down, and then I like to just kind of take my knuckles. Yeah, I noticed I, you were punching it like that. Yeah, so yeah. what happens is, you know, some of this dough as you pull it, like the ends up a little thinner, a little thicker. So I go to the thicker spots and I kind of just punch little, little holes in it to kind of level it out. It makes all that dough kind of even out and it'll cook a lot better and, and more evenly. It won't that puff way. up on it you. Won't, it won't puff up on right, you. Right, right. And you won't have that bite of pizza where you got a real thin piece and then a bunch of dough kind of on the back end. Well, there's the answer to some of those people people that were at the pizza contest Absolutely. and they had the puffy dough. Yep. Yeah. So just give a little punch, especially if you're using pizza screens. Uh, you know, when you buy like the pre made doughs in the bags, it, you'll always see kind of little punches and holes and perforations that'll make them cook quicker. So we like to do that. All right, how's that? I what think, think th that's a perfect amount. Does that but look again, good? I mean, you make it how you like it. Well, I want to save some for you. Perfect. <laughs> I'll do that. And while I'm doing that, why don't um, you sprinkle some of that leftover mashed potatoes on there? Yes, okay. So I'm just going to kind of dot that on, just kind yep. of around the. I kind of just use them as a topping, just kind of dabble them wherever you want them. So I'm going to continue spreading this gravy. Uh, I have a, a gravy recipe that I absolutely love. It's just so easy to use, and I use it for Thanksgiving, but I use it on Saturday mornings for biscuits and gravy and everything, too. It's real simple. It's just a third a cup of flour and two to three, sometimes four cups of milk, depending on what you do. I, I brown up about a pound of sausage, get all that fat in the bottom until it's nice and brown, sprinkle that flour in, and then throw in you know one or two cups of milk, stir until it's thick enough, might add a little bit more. So that's the kind of gravy we had today. I actually use uh, sage sausage for this gravy. So okay. I, have a, I always yeah. like sage and kind of Thanksgiving stuff. It has a nice little, you know, herbiness to it. That and and that's a Thanksgiving it. flavor, Absolutely sage. Is. Yeah. So we got that. 
I'm going to go ahead and add some potatoes to mine. Why don't you yeah. keep topping off with your turkey? Mm -hmm. Put a little turkey on here. I think you spread yes. your stuff just a lot prettier than I do mine. <laughs> well, you know, I like to get it all over the pizza so everybody gets a little bite all of this right. and you know, a little bite of that. That's probably fair. Yeah. You know, you know when you get guests that say, well, I didn't get any turkey on mine. Uh -huh. or, it's like fishing for the I didn't get a pepperoni on my pizza. <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep. I think that's pretty well evenly spaced out. One question that might pop up is, are we using these ingredients cold? I am because we're going to be putting this in that hasty bake and that's going to warm everything up for us. I think that's good. I'll take some of that turkey. Okay. Would you like the cheese? I'll take cheese. Spread cheese. Now, do you use the cheese kind of as a nice little, just a nice little topper that kind of keeps things I think together? It, yeah, it kind of keeps everything together. Um, mm -hmm. You know, I don't like to drown stuff in cheese oh, I normally. Do. I, I mean, be I, careful. it depends on the dish. <laughs> it depends on the dish for sure. Uh, but pizza, I like to, if it's good cheese, you can absolutely use a little bit more. It just depends on what your, what your taste is like. Well, yeah, and it depends on the cheese too. 100%. So yes. this is all mozzarella. This yeah. will get nice and gooey and cheesy. Mm -hmm. Okay, I think I've got mine pretty well cheesed. I'll Perfect. give that to you. Want me to go ahead and do some cranberry yeah, here? Pop. Now this is where you could use cranberry sauce. This is just dried cranberries, or if you got fresh, that'd probably be really good too. Mm -hmm. A little bit of cranberry, not too much, I guess. I'm going to overdo it. Right. These are looking really good. Mm -hmm. Definitely going to be at least different than a turkey sandwich. Absolutely. Cool. Here's some cranberry for you. Cranberry, and then I'm going to have you. Mm -hmm. Now, you can pick your poison. Here, I'm going to tell you what I would do with this. Uh -huh. This is the Bamacue Butter Bomb. Right, which we know is fabulous on I, everything. I love it. I use it on a lot of different <laughs> stuff. Yeah. I'm going to put this on my crust, uh -huh. and then I'm going to top my season, my pizza with this uh, the Hasty Bake Gourmet Greek seasoning. It's got some herbs, some honey powder. It's just, it's kind of... Being an herby thing for mm -hmm. Thanksgiving stuff is just going to work really well. So okay. pick your poison there. But you don't want to mix them? Oh, I would, wanna... I would put this on top, the, the gourmet Greek on top, and the mm -hmm. butter bomb around the Just outside. on the edge. But you do whatever you would like. All right. Well, we'll give her a shot on how accurate I'm going to be on this, though. <laughs> you don't get points for pretty. You get points for taste. I know, but ah, see, like, there's somebody who would get an awful lot of butter bomb, which it is really good. No. It'll melt. That's what I like about butter bomb, as opposed to some of those other ones that use the real dry oh. baked butter that just kind of, you end up getting a little powdery by the butter. It really kind of melts into actually being like real butter. A couple of people are going to get a lot of butter there. Okay. okay. And then and give a good so. shake of that. Oh. All right. And then this over the top, you say. That over the top. Kind of like you're seasoning a salad. Put on my crust. All right. There we go. Yeah. And I think, my friend, we are just about ready to go on the grill. Mm. Okay. The grill, we're using the Hasty Bake today. Mm -hmm. I got it fired up to about 400 degrees over charcoal. Mm -hmm. I moved that charcoal all the way down to the smoke position, but I took off the heat shield because I want to have the effect of that fire on the bottom, kind of like a wood-fired pizza. Yeah, oven. yeah, you'll yeah. You'll get that smoke, you'll get that color. Mm -hmm. We'll have to kind of keep rotating it around. Our goal on the first part of this is to just go ahead and get everything baked all the way through. Right. Once it's baked all the way through, we'll use that hasty big broiler, shake out those coals and put it right underneath and we'll brown all that cheese that's on the top. Mm. Let's take it to the grill. That sounds great. like that through the magic of camera. That's right. It's done. It's made. <laughs> uh, <laughs> recap what we did. We took all our favorite leftovers. We put it on some great pizza dough mm -hmm. on a pizza screen because it's a lot easier to move around like that. We went on to the Hasty Bake, which is basically a wood-fired oven. 
Uh, put it over the fire for, I don't know, probably took 10 or 15 minutes to get that mm -hmm, cooked all the way through. Mm -hmm. And then we did what we love about the Hasty Bake is use that Hasty Bake broiler. So we raised that firebox all the way up, put the heat shield under so it's got a nice clean base. We shook that ash out of the firebox. Mm -hmm. And then we slid that pizza under. It took about 10 or 15 seconds to broil. And you get that beautiful color it's right beautiful. here. Oh my goodness. It does yeah, what you want color. a pizza oven to do at home. Mm -hmm. right? So now, our favorite part. We get to try. We get to dig in. Yes. So there we go. Cheers. There we go. Cheers. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. That's really good. Mm. That's really good. Mm-hmm. That was delicious. And with that bamboo butter bomb. Oh, my goodness. That mm. beats a leftover turkey sandwich any day. Mm-hmm. It was a lot more fun to make. Mm. Oh, wow. Mm. Guys, we hope you take your favorite Thanksgiving or Christmas or holiday leftover. Hey, your tailgate leftovers. It doesn't really mm -hmm. matter. Toss them on a pizza. Absolutely. Use that hasty big broiler like we like to. Mm-hmm. And make something just fun and creative that not a lot of people get to experience. So we're going to continue to enjoy this. The crew is going to have some of that. Guys, thank you again for having us out here to the BAMQ headquarters. Thank you again for joining us. If you like these videos, like and subscribe, YouTube, Facebook, TikTok, all the good places. We love pumping them out for you. We want to continue to do that. So we'll see you guys next time. Have a great week.